Man, pick it up. You got to walk that walk and talk that talk. Some glide in your stride. Some pep in your step. You with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the God he represents to us came 9,000 miles by himself to seek us and save us and give us life. I'm finished right now. I don't want you to deny point number 12 on the Final Call newspaper. Don't be out there today trying to impress some other Muslim community with your knowledge of the deen. With your familiarity with the talk wall. You straight from Long Beach. The east side of Long Beach. You from Compton. Just dropped out of Centennial High. You from L.A. All up on Crenshaw Boulevard. You from the Feel No Mo in San Francisco. You over there from Foothills and Fairview in Oakland, California. You from down there on Euclid in San Diego. You from out there in West Las Vegas. You from the ghetto and you want somebody to think you an Arab? Riding around. If you, some of you crazy enough, if you could, you'll ride a camel down Crenshaw Boulevard to show how Arabic you are. I don't want to be no Arab. I'm proud to be a black man from America because God came himself to search me out, find me, and give me the knowledge of self. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Master Farad Muhammad. Look at what point 12 say. It says, we believe. We believe. Y'all don't hear me. He said, we believe. We believe. That's a good old-fashioned Kuji Chakalia right there. That's some good old-fashioned self-determination. Yeah, you don't know what we said. You can't tell us what we believe. We tell you. We define ourselves to you. We believe. The Arabs say, we do not believe. We do not. Is it truly with Muhammad? No, brother. Brother Tony Muhammad? No. No, brother Tony Muhammad, brother Samad. How did you get that name, Samad Muhammad? You do not look like Samad to me, you look like Jimmy. Arabs always want to pull the plug on you. God's man called me Samad Muhammad. God's man gave me Muhammad. You, you are not Muslim. Yeah, but we believe. That Allah appeared in the person of Master W. Farad Muhammad, July 1930. Stop right there. We don't care if you believe it. Because guess what? We believe. Uh, come on now. That Allah, God, appeared in the person. Stop right there. You think we're spiritually stupid. You think we're religiously retarded. You think we're metaphorically challenged. We don't understand no falsehood. We don't live in a world of trickeration and lies. We don't believe that the originator of the heavens and the earths could have possibly been born on February the 26th, 1877. We're not stupid. But we know that as black people in America, we would never have had a connection with Allah were it not for that great, 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 Master Farad Muhammad, who came to North America by himself. He didn't wait for nobody to come with him. They said, Farad, they going down with white folks. He said, no, sir, I'm going to get my people because I love them and I'm going to save them from the enemy. Oh, yeah. He appeared in the person. The person is not God. We are not idolaters. Here's a lock of Master Farad's hair. Let's pray to it. He once drove this car. Never changed the oil. Let's pray to it. He slept in this bed. Don't change the sheets. Pray to it. No, Allah came in him. Huh? Brother Oliver brought me something up here that I needed. I needed water. I didn't specify what it should come in. I needed, see black folk needed Allah. Black folk needed God. We didn't know whether to specify that it should come in a light green crystal decanter, clearly from at least Pier 1, probably from Williams-Sonoma. 
We didn't know enough to specify where it came from, how much it cost, what it looked like. We just needed to be a clean, safe container for that which we needed. I'm here to tell you today that the cleanest and best container for the word, spirit, mind, love, courage, determination of God is Master Farad Muhammad. He's the best, the supreme being. Well, <clears throat> y'all mad, huh? 